Hi guys, welcome to Learn Maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at factorising a triromial. So if we take a quick overview, a triromial is one of three types of factorisation and it is the easiest to identify because you have triromial, common factor and a difference of two squares. Now the triromial must contain three terms, i.e. an x squared, an x and a number by itself. If you don't have these three terms, it is not a triromial and you must use another method to factorise. So there are multiple different ways to solve in these equations, however in this particular video we will consider the cross method. Now I know a lot of people use a box, some people just do it in their head, which is fine, however the cross acts as a calculator. So it will allow you to check whether or not you have definitely done it right. And factorisation in general is the process of putting equations back into brackets. So if we take a look at question number one, it asks us to factorise this equation here, x squared minus 6 plus 8. So the first thing that we need to do is write out your equation and then underneath it draw two empty brackets and make that equal 0. So if we draw a cross, just pop that at the side, then we need to consider the cross as two brackets. Now the way that we do that is the top cross, top of the cross here, so this bit and this bit, refer to the first bracket. And the bottom, i.e. this bit and this bit, refer to the second bracket. The left hand side of the cross, i.e this side and this side, correspond to the left terms, i.e. the first terms, inside the bracket. And that's how we will go about reading this. So if we pop in our x's here, because this is going to be what makes up the x squared, so it's going to be x times x, x squared, so we put this x corresponds to that x, and that x corresponds to that x. And then the right hand side corresponds to the right hand side of the bracket and the cross. So in this case we need two numbers which will multiply to give you plus 8 but add together to give you minus 6. Now we're going to forget about the minus 6 for a minute. I'm just going to consider what two numbers will times together to give you positive 8. Now we'll go for minus 4 and minus 2. Now you could use plus 4 and plus 2, however you will see why I've decided to go for the negatives in just a second, because as I says before, the cross acts as a calculator. So at the side we can perform the calculation that will tell us whether we have the correct values with the correct sign and in the correct place. So what you do as you do cross multiply. So you have x times minus 2 plus, it's always a plus, and x times minus 4. Or either way around, it doesn't matter. So here, x times minus 4 plus, always a plus, x times minus 2. So that means that we have minus 4x plus minus 2x, and that gives us minus 6x. And that is what we're looking for here is the minus 6x. So that means we must have done it correct. So that's your first bracket here, x minus 4, x minus 4, because remember the top refers to the first bracket and the bottom refers to the second bracket. And that's how you would go about factorising a triromial using the cross method. Now we'll take a look at a second example, the only difference here being that there is a, a number 2 here. Now when you have values in front of the x squared term, this is where it can cause a lot of problems. Because in the last example, it didn't matter where we put the 4 and the 2, we could have put them the other way around and we would still have gotten the right answer. However, this time it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So it's the same thing as before. We'll draw two empty brackets, we'll draw a cross. Now, two things that will times together to give us 2x squared. In this case, 2x times x. 
And remember, the left-hand side of the cross corresponds to the first term in each bracket, respectively. So the top of the cross being the first bracket, the bottom of the cross being the second bracket. So, as I said before, we must be careful of this too. So we need two values that are going to times together to give us minus 15 and add together to give us minus 7. Now that doesn't really make much sense because there is no value that will allow that to happen. But it is to do with this 2 because the 2, remember when we do the check, is going to multiply this by 2. So we'll try minus 5 and 3 because remember we need a minus in here because it's minus 15. So we'll do our check. And we'll do 2x times 3 plus, it's always a plus, x times minus 5. So that will be 6x take away 5x, which gives us x. This is not what we need. What we are looking for is minus 7x. So we need to try again. So let's go for the same numbers, but this time let's put them around the other way. And we'll keep the signs the same. So we'll do our 2x, and then this time it's going to times minus 5, plus, it's always a plus, x times 3. So that will give us minus 10x plus 3x, and when we add these together, we get minus 7x, and that is what we need. So that means this is in the correct order. It means that the first bracket is 2x plus 3, and your second bracket is x minus 5. And that's how you would go about solving the more difficult trilomials using the cross method. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.